Okay, then I want you to tell her clearly as a command, not a question. And when you tell her that, I want you to raise your right hand. Okay. Trot. She didn't believe you, so make it bigger. Trot. She barely believes you. Okay. Now she's trotting. No, she's not. She doesn't believe you. Well, you don't want to keep doing the same thing. Something's got to change. Tell her more strongly. Use a stronger gesture. Something has to change. Trot. Trot. So, it's not that she doesn't like it. She's giving you no evidence she doesn't like it. She's not responding to it because it's not strong enough. Not verbally, not visually, okay. not Trot. vocally. Trot. Good girl. Yeah, it's not so good. It took 10 times. Now, when you're ready, with a big gesture and a clear canter, I want you to tell her to canter with a word and a gesture. Canter. That wasn't a big gesture. Canter. That wasn't a big gesture. Canter. That wasn't a big gesture. Do you normally go up? Well, ho, oh, you matter? assess. What you did wasn't enough. So it's not what I do or what is usual. We assess the situation we have, and we say what we're doing is not enough. We need something more. OK. Because so it's not what they're used to. It's just how they need you? Well, it doesn't matter what they're used to, because you're going to be different. You're, you're going to be different. So you've got to give it and assess. Okay. Give it and assess. Now, right now, she thinks she can just turn and go the other way. Okay. Can she just turn and go the other way? Well, there you go. Not so good that it took three times, but you keep telling her she's good for barely minimal response. How would you suggest I fix that? Trot. Whoa. Now she'll pay attention. Whoa. There you go. You need something bigger. So that's still trot. That's a trot. But she didn't believe you. So, hey, whoa, whoa. Okay. Trot. All right, we got a canner, but let her canner. Whoop, whoop, not too fast. Whoop, when you're, whoop. When you're ready, drop the whip, get in front of her and say whoa. Drop, whoa. The, drop the whip, get in front of her and say whoa. Drop the whip, get in front of her and say whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now listen to that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay? You need, she would appreciate a clear direction so that you don't have to repeat it over and over again. Okay? So, whoa needs to sound like whoa. So, drop your whip, get in front of her, and say whoa once. Figure out how to get in front of her. Good girl. Whoa. Much better. OK? That's clearly communicating your intention. And the way I know that is because she stopped. OK? Is it normal for them to not look at you? Like, do they always tend to look towards the wall? You don't want her to look at you. You want her to be looking where she's going. Okay. If she's looking at you, she's not paying attention to where she's going. OK. OK? I wasn't sure if they, like, were supposed to. No. Like dogs look at you her too. ears can be, remember we talked about her ears should be paying attention to you. But just like when you were walking her, where were you supposed to be looking? At where she was going. At where you were going, okay? <laughs> not at her. So her ears pay attention to her, you, but not her eyes, not her head, not her nose, because if she's looking at you, her body is going to go towards you. Right, okay. And, okay, so what does confidence look like to her? Move. What does confidence look like to, what does she want from you? What does confidence in you look like to her? Uh, clear direction, loud probably. Well, it's not so much about loud because I want you to stop her without saying anything.
Go, go closer again. Okay. Okay. So it's not about loud. Being confident isn't about loud. It's about the right message delivered at the right time from the right place. 